It would be great if we were online all the time, but sadly enough we're not. Many times you sit on a train or on a plane or you're somewhere in a tunnel and then out of a sudden your smartphone becomes a dumb phone because you cannot connect to the internet. In this screencast we're going to show you how easy it is in HTML5 to make your applications work offline so you don't frustrate your users. One of the main criticisms of applications on the web is that you have to be connected all the time, which you are not. We cannot have a SIM card all the time, we might be in a tunnel, we might be on a train, we cannot get information from the web. That's why we need to find a technology to make our web applications behave like native applications or, in short, work offline. We've written a little application here for ourselves to convert Norwegian kroners into euros to see how much money we're actually spending while we're here in Oslo. So if you type for example 100 kroner in here, you get 11 euro 90 and that's how much we would spend for something, almost anything in Oslo if you think about it. We're using a web service from Yahoo that we call with an Ajax call and type it out back into the page. So the source code of this one, if you look at it in the code, which you can get from GitHub yourself, is rather simple. We have an HTML document with an input element and an output span and we have a JavaScript that gets called to do all the functionality. In the JavaScript itself, we do an Ajax call to Yahoo servers to get the current rate of the day. And once we have that, we display the rate conversion by adding an event listener of key up to the input element. So every time I press a key and I release the key, I do a calculation getting the rate that I got from Yahoo before and write out my text content in the page. Now, this does it on the web, this works fine. What do we need to do to make this work offline? All you have to do is define a manifest file and link to it from the HTML document that you want to have cached. So in this case we're linking with the manifest equals currency app cache to the file called currency.appcache which defines all the files that we want to be loaded not from the web but from the, from the cache itself. So in our case from this computer or later on from our mobile device. The app cache file itself is a simple text format. It has a comment in there which is starting with a hash and you list all the files that you want to have cached on the device or on your mobile device. So what does this mean in the browser if we now have an app cache linked to it? So in this case, in the original one, if I open the inspector and the console and I load it, it loads all of our files every single time I reload the page. So I got the currency HTML, the CSS and the JavaScript. In the app cache version, if I do my inspect element here and I open the console and I load it, all that gets loaded is the new information from Yahoo how much a kroner is worth today. The rest comes all from the cache of the page as we defined all these different files here. And that is how simple it is to have files offline in HTML5. Of course this is only half the battle, because we cannot talk to Yahoo when we're on the go, so we don't know what a kroner is worth at the moment. So the way to do that is to use local storage. If you look at the currency.js in the offline finished example, instead of just saying there was an error when, there, when we couldn't load something from the web, when we couldn't do the XML HTTP request, what we do is actually store it in, the, uh, in local storage the first time we get the rate, and we get it from local storage when we actually are offline. This is a simple way of storing little bits of information in a browser. Just do local storage set items and local storage get item. So with these two changes we made our application work offline. An application manifest, a currency app cache to list all the files that we want to have offline and local storage for information as a fallback if the information cannot be loaded from the web. You might have wondered why we have this comment in the app cache. One issue about app cache is that when files change, they don't get updated if the manifest file itself hasn't changed. So it's a good idea to put a comment in there that you change and then it will force a refresh of the cache itself. So I change this now to another number here, save my app cache again and when I go back to my application, it tells me that there is a new version available of this one and if I want to load it. When I now click OK here, it refreshes it and I get the new version of my files. This is done with an event handler on the application manifest itself. So if you look at currency.js here, you can see that you have a window application cache add event listener update ready, which means the manifest has changed, there's a new update for you available. And then I just put a confirm out and say do you want to load the new one and if you want to I do a window location reload and that way I always have new information 
not actually forced upon the user, but on user's behalf. And this is how easy it is to do offline functionality in HTML5.